Hi there everyone, my name is Ian Stahl. I'm a junior at California State East Bay and a student ambassador for McGraw Hill Education. Welcome back to the series of videos where we're highlighting some of the reports that you can use within Connect and SmartBook in order to maximize the efficiency of your study time, uh, improve your scores, save you some time, and more importantly, college smarter, not harder. Uh, in these final three videos, we are going to be covering SmartBook reports. Uh, now, getting into SmartBook is easy, whether you have Classic Connect, like what you see here, or New Connect. In New Connect, you can click into Assignments, marked with the SmartBook uh, icon into the SmartBook link here, or under Additional Practice, Learn Smart and SmartBook are essentially two sides of the same coin. In Classic Connect, you can get into SmartBook by clicking into uh, Assigned Work, or in this Learn Smart icon under My Course Resources. Uh, as we jump in, the first two reports that we're going to be talking about are topic scores and current learning status. Now, these are best used after you've finished a SmartBook assignment and are able to evaluate uh, what topic areas may be uh, needing additional help. Uh, but there are some things that you can do in order to utilize them as you're going through SmartBook. Now, when you first get into SmartBook, maybe you come to your Assignments tab, Self-Study, uh, maybe you are in uh, the text itself. All you need to do to access the reports is click on this upper left-hand icon to bring up your navigation window and click on Reports. While this loads, uh, do know that uh, we'll be covering almost all of these reports in subsequent videos. Under Current Learning Status, you're gonna be able to see all of the chapters within the text their completion percentage, so how much of the questions you've answered, how many uh, actual questions you have left, and the time that's estimated to complete those questions. Now, if nine minutes seems like way too little <laughs> for 31 questions, that is because that's how much time that should take you after you have demonstrated mastery of the subject. Uh, so coming back and doing refresh, uh, which is to go back over this content later on, you can see that once you've demonstrated mastery, you should only need nine minutes in order to answer all of the questions in that chapter. Uh, refresh can be a very powerful tool for you coming back to study for exams, midterms, and finals. Uh, and we'll be talking about that a little bit more in subsequent videos. Uh, jumping into topic scores, again, organized by chapter here on the left-hand side of the screen. The time spent is how much time I've spent actually trying to complete that particular chapter. Here, only four minutes. Uh, and the question count, I've gotten four right of the six I've tried, or roughly 67%. Uh, the higher that percentage is, the more uh, complete your knowledge of the topic is. So you really want to see a high number all the way on that far side. We're going to go ahead and wrap uh, this portion of the smart book reports check back in the next video uh for the next two videos excuse me for some additional topics best of luck to you all in your studies